Hi, Andrew here. Let's do another gel test today. We're gonna to take a look at Barnes 69 grain OTM, that's open tip match. We're gonna fire it out of an AR15.com 18 inch one and seven twist upper into calibrated 10% ordnance gelatin. Let's head out to the range and take a look. Two nine one one. Okay, let's take a look. So went off like a bomb. Fragments all over, way down here at the very edge of the temporary stretch cavity. All over up in here, here, here. Neck was about one and a half inches long. TSC about four inches wide by six and a half or seven inches long. Penetration is 10.2 inches. You can already see the jacket separated from the core. Lots of fragments. So we're probably not gonna see very good weight retention but we'll get some measurements when we get home. Okay, so really short neck, big temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation, but penetration was pretty short. And not, I mean, not just by a little bit, it's well short of the FBI recommended 12 inch minimum. That was initially kind of surprising to me, but I thought back and I realized that I've seen uh, shallow penetration from other 68, 69 grain open tip match bullets in the past. Uh, remember that these bullets aren't designed for terminal performance. Sometimes uh, mid, mid weight like this or heavy weight OTMs can do well, but remember that their primary engineering goal is not for terminal performance, but for accuracy. And Oftentimes they have a fairly thin jacket, they may have a deep cantilever, and they can get sideways, blow up like a bomb like this one did, and just not retain enough mass to get deep enough. Is this a good choice for defense? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, it could be that out of a shorter barrel it goes deeper, uh, but with as shallow as this one was, I think you'd probably have to go to pretty short barrel or pretty long distance before you start hitting that 12 inch minimum. So I'd pass on it for defensive purposes. Doesn't mean it's not good ammunition. Of course, Barnes makes outstanding match grade ammunition. And I did not shoot this for groups. We shot it for terminal effect. If you want to know more about that AR15.com upper, I'll be doing a kind of sort of review on it soon, at least a closer look at the rifle itself rather than just using it as a platform for ammunition and gel testing. That'll be coming up soon. If you have any questions, if you want to tell me how handsome I am, make sure you leave a comment below. I always love to hear your thoughts, even when you're wrong. As always, have a great day.